Hi guys, I'm back. <sighs> all right, so I'm all settled in my new apartment, my new room, and I'm finally gonna be making videos again. This is the second time I've filmed this already, so yay. Gotta try and find places to film. Maybe one day. Maybe one day it'll be all in the same place. Maybe. Anyways, today is my June wrap-up, and I read nine books in June. Very good reading month for me at the beginning of the month, so I'm going to go right ahead and show you what I read. The first book I started in May, but finished in June, that's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's obviously a five out of five stars. I love this book. It's a reread for me, and I mean, we all know what this is. I don't have to explain it. It just... It's good. Next book I read was A Knight in Shining Armor by Jude Devereaux. This is an adult romance novel with a little bit of sci-fi in there, kind of. Um, may I gave it, I think this is a reread, and I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars. Um, the main character is Douglas Montgomery, and she goes on a trip to England with her asshole boyfriend and his brat daughter, and they leave her in a church in the English countryside. And while she's crying and freaking out, her emotions bring forward a knight and heir of a lot of fortune from 15th century England. And they go on adventures and try and find out what happened to him and why he's here and how to get him back. I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. I have very, very violent sneezes. Try and find out how to get him back and in the process, they fall in love, of course. And then, little plot twist, he goes back, she follows him, he doesn't know who she is. And that's before he went forward. It's a little confusing, but it's really good. Um, I would recommend this if you're trying, if you want a light kind of adult romance, you don't want to jump right into like Fifty Shades of Grey Cray Cray. This only has one sex scene in it, and it's tame. It's super tame. But it's a very good, emotional, adoring little book, so I recommend this one. The next books I read are all from my library, and I returned them already because I didn't want them to get injured or lost in the move, so I'll just insert pictures or whatever. The first book I read was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I really didn't think this book deserves all the hype it gets on YouTube because it's really it's predictable like the big reveal at the end I guessed a good hundred pages before it happened and I was just like oh that's gonna be a thing and then it was a thing and then the book ended um the main character Cinder who is supposed to be Cinderella since this is a retelling of Cinderella she was like Cinderella, kind of just want to talk to the boy. I she just wasn't as strong as I wanted her to be. She was a cyborg though. That was kind of cool. Um, I didn't like the love interest Kai. I, you all are gonna hate me because I really everyone loves Kai. It's like bow down to Kai. I don't like Kai. I thought he was a little conceited, just a little bit. He is a prince though, so he probably is allowed a little bit of arrogance. But um, I just I really. Meh. It wasn't for me. The next book I read was Paper Towns by John Green. And I was surprised and disappointed by this book just a little bit. I gave it a three and a half out of five stars, I think. Maybe a four. Excuse me. Um, I was expecting to be emotionally torn apart like The False in Our Stars and Looking for Alaska. That wasn't the case, and that was a little disappointing, but also refreshing. It wasn't a bad thing that I wasn't crying. Margot and the main character had interesting things. They were interesting. It was a good story. It was thought-provoking. I did a review. I'll put it right here somewhere, and also I'll link it to the down bar. Um, so yeah, you can just go watch that to see what I really thought of the book. The next book I read was Why We Broke Up by Daniel Hay. I adored this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was just cool and adorable in a creepy bad way. Like, 
Um, it's told from Minerva's point of view. She's writing letters about all the mementos that she saved from her and Eddie's relationship. I did a review. It's right here. I'll link it down below as well. I really like the illustrations. I liked how she told the story. I liked how even though I knew they were going to break up, because that was the point of the book, title of the book, I was still mad and upset that the relationship was ending. So yeah, that was a four out of five. Next, I read Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, which is the second in the Lunar Chronicles after Cinder. I like this book a whole lot more than Scarlet than Cinder. <laughs> Scarlet is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, that's the story, and I love Scarlet, the character, so much. She was strong, like I wanted Cinder to be, she was sassy, she was great. I just, I loved everything about her. I liked Wolf so much better than Kai. He was just more in-depth, he had more feelings. I just, I give this a four and a half or four out of five stars, I think. I liked it a lot. I like that we still got some of Cinder's story, like it switched off between the two. And I just, I'm really excited for the, sec the third one. I want to see what happens next. The next book was my all-time favorite read of the month, and that was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This book has a lot of hype on booktube, and it's for a reason. It is a good thing. It was just adorable. Anna gets sent to boarding school in France, and she meets people, and a boy, and it's just so cute so cute and i just loved it and as soon as i put it down i wanted to pick it right back up and read it again and i need to own it i need to buy it right now so four out of four and a half out of five stars is what i gave it it was just er, so cute but after and on the french kiss i was in a little bit of a book Hangover. I didn't want to read anything else but like Lola and the Boy Next Door, which I don't own and I can't find at my library and I just don't have it yet. It makes me mad. But I did pick up Unwind by Neil Schusterman and I forced myself through this book. It just dragged on and on. I really wanted to like it because it has this awesome premise. It's a dystopian world after um, like the pro life and pro choice of abortion issue is fought out and what happens is instead of like all babies are born there's no abortion and at 13 if parents don't want their babies anymore they can have them un unwound which means their babies like their kids are still alive but in a divided state so all of their body parts all of their organs everything goes to other people and that sounds like a great book doesn't it it sounds awesome i just characters nope i couldn't relate to them obviously because I'm not in that world, but I just, there wasn't one redeeming quality in any of them that I really could just stick to me. Like, oh, I like this character. And then, it was just, mm, I just, oh. I really wanted to like this book more than I did. I just, I couldn't. The only part that I really did like was when we actually went through the unwinding process because they kept telling us about it, but they didn't really tell us because no one really knew and it was creepy but it was really interesting to read. Loud noises! Um, also the ending, like just, everything just works out magically in the end. Like, it's not something that should be worked out. Like, there is, there shouldn't be a happy ending to this world. People are still getting unwound. Like, no. So after I forced myself through this book, I just stopped reading. For like two and a half weeks. It was bad. I mean, I did move in those two and a half weeks, but really the movie was this weekend, so I just, I watched Grey's Anatomy on Netflix, I watched Freaks and Geeks on Netflix, that's an adorable show and someone needs to go back in time and plop that producer on the head and say make another season because ugh, I want more. Anyways, so yeah, now that I am back, I, you can expect many more videos from moi. I already have my document June up if I really can here, link it here if you'd like to see it. Um, see, I plan on doing a room tour along with a bookshelf tour, a new one because I have a new bookshelf. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. If you can see it, I might just cut it down. Anyway, so I'll be doing that and I'll be doing a July TBR next. 
along with um, my booktube readathon reads because that's in June, July. It's July 15th to 21st. So comment down below if you're going to be participating in that and what you're going to be reading. Also, if you want to see more videos and you like this, just thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!